Hi, welcome back to Engine Shop Joe. Uh, click subscribe if you haven't. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it so others can find it. Tonight we're going to talk about the after treatment fuel distribution block, which will not be found on any engines that use in-cylinder dosing for the after treatment to warm it up. The mid-range is always used in-cylinder and the X15-2450 uses in-cylinder. We're looking tonight at a ISX or X15 CM2350 that still had this block on it. So uh, what this block was for is fuel pressure from the, basically the fuel filter housing would go to this block. And there was a couple check valves on it. One would open and let fuel into that block. One would open and let fuel go to the injector. That was early on in the 871. Later on, on the 2350 uh, platform, they just had a valve that opened and shut that let fuel into the block. And then the fuel would go across to the injector and the injector was shut. And then you'd have fuel pressure there. There was a fuel pressure sensor in all generations of the block. So the ECM knew how much fuel was in that block. And uh, so let's take a look at the block and then I'll talk a little bit more about how it worked once we get to it. Okay, we're gonna go through this quick. Here is the fuel distribution housing. This is the fuel pressure sensor that tells the ECM the pressure inside of that fuel distribution housing for the after treatment. That's the on off valve that allows fuel to come in from the fuel filter head housing into that block and then once it's in the block it is sent to the injector behind the turbo. This is an air solenoid that will send truck air pressure down this line into that housing to clean all the fuel out of that housing through that line, same line that goes to the injector behind the turbo so that no fuel's in that injector to stop it from carboning up. Now, let's slow down. You know what the pieces are. We're going to talk about it a little bit. That check valve that's, that uh, lets fuel into the housing, when the ECM wants to send fuel to the after-treatment injector that's behind the turbo, it opens that solenoid, and then fuel fills that housing. The pressure sensor tells the ECM that there is fuel in there. Fuel goes through that steel line around the back of the head, to the injector on the back of the turbo. The injector is closed by the ECM, so no fuel's going into the pipe, but the fuel's there ready to go in. The injector will pulse fuel, pulse that injector when it's ready. And then if we have an exhaust leak, we see what looks like white, whitish smoke coming out of the leak, puffing out. And it changes at different rates because the injector will change the ECM will change the duty cycle of that injector that's behind the turbo. <clears throat> Meanwhile, the fuel pressure sensor is measuring the fuel pressure in the housing. If the on-off check valve fails, you can have low pressure in the housing, no pressure, or you can have pressure in the housing when you shouldn't have pressure in the housing. So what you don't want is you don't want the air solenoid check valve up on top opening if there's fuel pressure in that housing coming from the fuel filter head. So the ECM measures the fuel pressure in the housing. It will shut the valve that pressure that allows pressure to go into that housing. And then it leaves the injector open on the turbo and the pressure will drop down, say to, say to 30, 40 PSI. And then if it's done injecting fuel and it wants to clean that injector, it opens that air solenoid and truck air 120 PSI, which is greater than the 40 PSI fuel pressure goes down into the housing. The check valve is shut. That sends fuel in the housing. So no air can go back to the filter head and the uh, ECM will open the injector on the back of the turbo and, and give it a high duty cycle. So it's open most of the time and it'll push all the rest of the fuel out of that line until just air is coming out of the injector. And then it closes the injector, shuts the air off, and the, fuel, the pressure in that housing will drop to ambient air pressure. 
and that's it. It's done, and that's how that works. The on-off solenoid in that housing is just a ball valve in the end of that screw-in solenoid. It's a two-wire on-off. The fuel pressure sensor is a three-wire. It's ground signal and supply. It's a five-volt feed to that. And the solenoid up on top is driven by the ECM. It's pulsed on and off. Again, truck air goes to that, so you want to have a clean air system on your truck. Thanks for joining me on Engine Shop Joe. See you next time.